Today we're going to balance redox reactions in a basic condition. So we have the following reaction. The first thing you want to do is determine um, which is the oxidation reaction and which one is the reduction. And so silver here has a charge of zero because it's a solid. Here um, we have cyanide which is a negative one charge, and um, there's two of them, so it's a negative one times two, it should be a negative two, so this has to be a positive two, sorry, positive one, so that overall would have a negative one charge. So silver here is oxidized, it's losing electrons to go from a zero to a positive one. And then our oxygen here is undergoing reduction. So we're going to go through the steps. Um, first I'm going to write my oxidation reaction, half reaction here. And so we're going to go through the steps as if this was in acidic conditions, but we are looking at um, basic conditions for this um, reaction. And so there will be an extra step at the end that we will do. So the first thing you want to do is balance elements um, in the half reaction except for hydrogen and oxygen. So here I need to balance the carbon and the nitrogen, and I would do that by putting a super or a coefficient of a two. I don't have anything else to balance for my reduction half reaction. Um, there's only oxygen. I can balance the oxygen by adding water to the other side. And so I would need two oxygens, so that would need two molecules of water. The next step is to balance hydrogen. There's no hydrogen in my oxidation reaction, but in my reduction half reaction, there are four hydrogens on um, the product side, so I need to put in four hydrogen ions on the reactant side to balance those. The next thing we need to do is balance charge. So if I go back up to my oxidation reaction, this is two minus, this is a minus one charge. And so we are going to balance the charge by putting in um, electrons to balance this. So we would put one electron on the product side to balance the charge. On the reduction reaction, we have um, a positive four charge on the reactant side and a zero, a charge of zero on the product side. So I would add four electrons here on the reactant side. The next step is to check um, the number of electrons for both half reactions. So I have four here and I have one here, so I would need to multiply um, this entire half reaction by four to balance those electrons.
So the next step that we're going to do is combine our half reactions. And then we're going to um, reduce or cancel identical species. So I'm going to write them um, just like an addition So then you can see here, I have four electrons here, and I have four electrons here. So we'll we take those out, combine our equations. So this was um, under the con basic conditions, and so with basic conditions, there's an additional step. And so what you're going to do is add hydroxide ions to each side, so both the reactant and product side, and the number of hydroxide ions is equal to the number of hydrogen ions. So um, I'm going to just do this in red. I have four hydrogen ions here, so I'm going to add four hydroxide ions. I also need to do this to the product side. And so what I would have And then what happens is you combine, if you have hydroxide and hydrogen ions on the same side, these combine to form water. And there are only hydroxide ions on the product side, so I'm not going to form water over there. 
So then what I would have is four water molecules. And so if you notice, I have water on the product side, I have water on the reactant side, so you would reduce those. And so my final balanced equation would be the following. Last thing to do is always check your elements to make sure you have the same number of each element and the same charge on each side of um, the equation. And I have a negative 8 on the reactant side. I have a negative 4 plus a negative 4, so it's a negative 8. I have um, 4 hydrogens on the reactant side, 4 hydrogens on the product side. I have two, 4 oxygens on the reactant side four oxygens on the product side, four silvers, four silvers, and then eight cyanide ions. And so this would be my balanced chemical equation. You have to have states of matter also.